arm is up. I think there's a penalty coming to St. Michael's. And a shot off the rush. They score. Jack Rimmer. Delayed penalty coming up. Goalie was already to the bench. So there are six Collingwood Blues to celebrate that one. Pass across. Didn't work. And a chance the other way. Three on one for the Blues. Bringing it in. Firing. Scoring. It's 2 nothing. A three on one on a power play. You hate to see that. Mark McIntosh fires into the back of the net. Shot was blocked. Bodies converge in the near corner. Blues banging away for a rebound and they jar it in. Whistle didn't go. 97 seconds into period number two. The Blues add a third. It's three to nothing. But the Blues haven't put the nail in the coffin, so the buzzers can find some momentum. Oh, there's a shot through traffic. Just as I say it, they make it 4 nothing. 13-20 left in the middle period. And this one's off the stick of Nicholas Lamont. Chow covers his man on the pass. Cohen lost his stick, gets it back. Now at the other end, the Blues trying to set something up. Firing and scoring. Cohen was out of the play. The Blues had an extra guy. With 8.34 left in the period. It is 5-0 Collingwood. Collingwood up 5-0, and it could actually be worse. Well, they've had their chances too, so they certainly could be more in the game than down five, but Gorinsky's made some pretty good stops too. There's a shot, and it's a half dozen. Six nothing for Collingwood. 3.35 to go in the second period. Off the face off, it's swept back to the blue line. Buzzers fan on a couple of attempts towards the net, and the Blues bring it in two on three, now three on three. Pass for Young, wrapping it around, and he scores. Collingwood Blues kick the extra point. They're staying aggressive, and they make it 7 0, 15 30 to go in the third. We'll see what the buzzer's record looks like when we speak again on next Sunday afternoon.